Hey guys, it's Mano here. It's been a while since I last posted. I feel like I've said this before. I've been out of town without any supplies to make animations, but I'm back now with a slightly different format. Today, I want to talk about childhood. Not just plain old childhood stories, but the songs of my childhood. I'm pretty sure some of you can relate to the music you have heard as a kid, and it just brings back all the nostalgia. First song I want to talk about is Unwell by Matchbox 20. It is a song I usually mention when people ask me, what song defines you? The song for me means for one to accept themselves as they are, no matter how unwell you think you are or different from others. It's okay and you don't have to feel displaced. I'm a very anxious person and social situations kill my confidence. When I feel like I said something wrong in a conversation, I just feel like crying a lot. This makes me try to avoid social events as much as possible. But, if you ever do see me at an event, let's just say it took a ton of courage and I'm super uncomfortable. I remember once being teased in a bathroom in high school. I was hiding in there during lunch since I had no one to sit with. I didn't want to sit at a table because in high school, groups of friends would pretty much own a table and if you sat at another group's table, they wouldn't really be all too kind. Hence, I just hid in the bathroom during lunch. But having others make fun of me terrified me of being judged, so now I'm pretty cautious around others. I cope in weird ways, and it makes me feel different. For instance, I talk to myself a lot, and I had imaginary friends all my life. My last one was named Taylong. When I was 10 years old, I imagined them as a kid with blonde hair because I thought Naruto was cool. But after my second year in college, I imagined Jerry, which I really don't tell people about. But hey, now you guys know. I had about four others when I was younger, but I'd rather not disclose them. I will also sometimes smile randomly at funny thoughts or stand away from groups of people I know. Like trail behind them because I always have this feeling like I would be invading a friend's space if I'm too close. Hence, when I do hang out with people, I don't like standing or sitting too close unless I feel like I have been invited to do so. Kinda like a vampire. So, Unwell is a song that relates mainly to my mental health, which is a big part of my life. The next song I want to speak about is Drops of Jupiter by Train. This song to me kind of embodies relationships, mostly those that disband due to distance. I moved here and there as a kid, and I would always lose friends that I met along the way. I would wonder what their lives were like once I was gone, and for some reason, this song made me remember all of them. It also reminds me of all the people I crushed on throughout my life, too. Most people I crushed on, I never told them until I either knew that they didn't like me back, or if I just didn't have feelings anymore. I remember in high school asking my crush if I liked them, would they like me back? We were good friends, so it wasn't an awkward question, but they responded saying no, and it broke my little teenage heart. <laughs> so if you ever hear me jamming to this song, I'm just remembering all the good times and thinking about those I used to know. Kinda makes me teary eyed, but it also gives me hope that they're doing just fine. Song number 3 is You Found Me by The Fray. This song I listened to a lot during a hard time in my life. My mom had gotten really sick and there were times that I thought she wasn't going to be around anymore. I recall very vividly a moment when my dad and my siblings were trailing behind the ambulance truck to the hospital. I just had a slow motion moment then. Everything seemed like it was moving so slowly and I could see the lights beaming off my father's face and my sister's too. I recall wondering why I wasn't crying and if my family was crying. I didn't know what to feel then. As months went by and my mom was going to rehab and having more health difficulties, I remember going to the ICU or some intensive care area to see her and just feeling hopeless. I sat on a bench near her bed and I could see her face and I started feeling so much dread and anger towards the world wondering why we deserve this. I remember my mom saying hi to me that day but I was too sad to respond. My mom grew up Catholic, so being a religious song, You Found Me reminds me of her. So, she also got better after a while, and I felt like God or the universe cared after all. So yeah, this song means a lot. The next song is She Will Be Loved by Maroon 5. Once I was able to make friends in high school, I really felt like I needed to protect them, and this song just reminds me that I have to be loyal to those I love. I'm pretty sure it's a love song about a girl and a guy supporting her. But hey, I like my interpretation for it a bit better. I do think about one person I liked, and since I worried about them a lot in high school due to their family and financial situations, it reminded me of them quite a bit. So this song really related to my loyalty trait, which I hope I have. 
and keep very strong because being loyal means a lot to me and hopefully it means a lot to those around me too. Last, but certainly not the least favorite, and is actually my all-time favorite song, Clocks by Coldplay. I don't know why, but some people make fun of Coldplay, but this song just gives me an instant happy boost. It makes me think of life in general. All the ups and downs, missed opportunities, and feeling like the world is controlling you. But sometimes it feels so bad that you think you don't belong anywhere, but once you stop and see how time is flying by and the things you've been through, you are home, where you're supposed to be, but one always feels like they aren't home, and they strive in their lives to feel at home, yet the home they are looking for doesn't even exist, and it is right in front of them all along, but the hardships in life are preventing them from seeing that. That is what this song means to me. Let me elaborate. After graduating from college and seeing my friends do different things, either going to study more or working like I decided to do, I always felt like I was doing the wrong thing. I would make up goals for myself like, after two years I will do blank, and then I'll be happy. Something like that. But why not be happy now? It is a struggle for me, and I always look towards the future and never enjoy the present. I realize that life isn't actually that hard when you think of it physically. The stress of life comes from one's own mental position, and others who impose rules onto it. Life is a mind game, which really messes a person up. But if you put that all aside for one second and just focus on yourself, you can see that it isn't that bad. It is true that you can't get rid of all the stresses in your life, and there have been constant times where I thought I could just escape it all and move to a deserted island, but in all honesty, I can't do that. I recall a friend telling me how capital ruled people's lives and how that idea made me just feel so useless, and I didn't want to do anything for the rest of that day because I saw no point. But then. I thought about why I was doing what I was doing, and it really wasn't for me. I recall being a, a little bean and telling myself that I wanted to be an animator because when I showed my family the South Park style animations I would take all day making, they would laugh and smile and it made me feel like, although I don't know what my purpose is, at least I can make my family happy for one second, and that for me is a purpose I don't mind pursuing. And I know I will have more times in my life where I forget my purpose and stray away from those I love, but I hope I will find my way back and remember all these songs and all the times where my smile wasn't big enough for the happiness I was feeling. Oh my gosh. Feels, guys! Alright, so those are my five songs of my childhood. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. It would be really cool if this was a tag. I don't know if it is or not. YouTubers could call it the Childhood Songs Tag, and everyone could come up with five songs that remind them of the past and what it means to them. If you guys think it's a good idea, make a video and let me know, or leave your top five songs in the comment section below. Jeez, what a nostalgic day. See you guys later. This is Manuel Shark signing out. Hurrah!